What's going on my Rock Runners, this here's Truly Rock Combo, aka The Professor on the Sticks, bringing you on unranked game, All Madden versus Cookie Boy 17 if you don't know him, he has a YouTube, he has a YouTube channel, uh, and he is an awesome commentator, you know, has over 11,000 subscribers, uh, great guy, really down to earth, uh, chill dude as well, you should definitely check him out, He's a, most of y'all definitely will probably know who he is, I played him a couple times this year. Uh, we are one and one, so I think this is a tiebreaker game if I can remember correctly. He he runs he runs the sugar, <laughs> uh, sugar three buzz I think it's called. I'm not I'm pretty sure that's what the play's called. He's ran it for the last like three years. This is his go-to defense, um, and it's always giving me a little. He's always giving me a little bit of, of problems on D, and he's he has some really really good uh, run stick as well. So um, you know he's definitely he's definitely a, a good player. He he does a little funky thing, some funky things on offense, and <laughs> sometimes he he can catch you off guard with like a little flea flicker he's known for. And uh, last year the halfback toss was real powerful, and <laughs> he mastered that thing. I'm telling you, man, it was always an adventure to play him. See, look now, look at him. He's doing the halfback pass. It's not as good this year. Uh, man, that should have been picked off. So I'm seven zero on the Packers, as, and as he is the Houston Texans. Uh, Packers are pretty nice. I, you know, you gotta love. Aaron Rodgers, that man is a beast, uh, t top quarterback in the league, with top three probably. It's hard to say anything about Peyton Manning right now. Goodness gracious, man, that guy is crazy. I was at that tournament on Sunday, and I got to watch a little of that, like, the Cowboys game. And uh, you know, since I'm in, I'm in Texas, you know, there's a lot of Cowboys fans, and <laughs> oh, typical Roma man, throwing a pick at the end after he sets the the record for passing yards for the Cowboys. So uh, that was a crazy epic game. <clears throat> But back on topic, uh, real briefly, I'm going to, I'm going to my next commentary will be on the tournament, so that should be up uh, the following day. So if you if you're watching this, this gameplay in the future, just click on my next video, and uh, it'll be the commentary over the tournament that took place Sunday in San Antonio, Texas, where I lost in the finals, 41 to 34, epic game uh, for a thousand dollars and blew it <laughs> but anyways as you can see man this man cookie boys hit me up with the flea flicker he pulls he, he's pulling out all the tricks in his hat and look at this he, he caught it too they gave it to him uh i think i think he only had one foot in bounce but it is what it is as i'm up 14 to 3 I've, I've really controlled this whole game this first half so i'm feeling really good about where i am i just want to hold him to a field goal and then if, if he leaves me time i'll to, to score i'll be uh one happy camper so he gets a first and ten, hits me in the flats for no gain. So he has a second and ten, really good pocket presence by Matt Shabby. Uh, and yeah, he should throw a pick six this game, just just like in real life. I think he's throwing like a poor pick six or something crazy like that. So uh, if he doesn't throw a pick six, this game is fake. <laughs> uh, so look at that, Shab getting loose, getting a touchdown, but he left me a minute and three seconds, and I have one timeout left, so I'm feeling pretty good where I'm at. If I can score a touchdown here, make it a two-possession uh, lead. That's really my objective every single game is, is try to have a two-possession lead going into the second half, or a one pos or at least be, be up by uh, a field goal if I'm going to get ball in the second half. So that's kind of where I'm, where I'm always trying to achieve the first half. That's my goal. Uh, it didn't look like I got my feet in bounds, but they did not challenge it, and I score a touchdown with 15 seconds left, and it looks like the game's going to be over, uh, or not the game, the half is going to be over. And as you can see, he runs the ball to get to the 50. Five seconds left, four seconds left, three seconds left. I tackle him with one second. He gets a field goal. I should have just not tackled him, but it's kind of hard not to like try to pull your guys off and not tackle him. So, uh, very good clock management on his part. I thought I scored with just uh, with such a little time that I would be okay, a okay, but apparently not. Uh, so he gets the ball to start the second half. Made a one possession game. So a really good part on his part to get that field goal. That was a huge momentum shift. And on fourth and nine, another momentum shift. He gets eight and a half yards, so he had a turnover on downs. Um, I need to score right here, at least a field goal to make it a two possession game and keep the pressure on him. Second 15, nothing is there. Third and 15, uh, hit him up with a, a post route, and Randall Cobb from Kentucky is going to take it all the way down to the five yard line. He fumbled, but he actually ended up going out of bounds. So Eddie Lacy, um, Alabama product. Goes across and scores a touchdown. So I'm up 28-13 with two minutes left in the third quarter. Feeling really good, especially after A.J. Hawk. Big hit. He, he ran right to the right into the big hit. So I got the ball back. So I'm going to try to run the ball here. 
and uh, not doing anything stupid. So first down, don't get anything. Second down, don't get anything. So once again, man, his run defense is, is doing really good because I, I hit him with the most powerful run in the game, that Saints power, he, and I had nothing there. Now third down, I knew he was going to run zone. I tried him with the corner route, but he was covered, and I forced it in there. I should have just taken my points to make it a three-possession game or 31-13. Yeah, so... Um, but I did not. I threw a bad pass. Look at, oh my goodness, look at these moves, man. Those jukes, jukes for days. So I'm up 28-13. I should have just taken my points. Bad throw, bad decision on my part. It's always easy to look back, though, and uh, no, you shouldn't have thrown that. And now I'm getting trucked. So I'm getting juked. I'm getting trucked. Aaron Foster is just a one-man wrecking crew. Hits, hits me in the, in the flaps with Aaron Foster. Once again, he falls forward to six yards. To, this is going to be towards the end of the third quarter, and I baited him into that throw. And he threw it anyways, and uh, Clay Matthews decides to drop the ball. Maybe some of his long hair got in his face. Who knows? But anytime that happens, it's not too good. Fourth and four, he decides to run the ball. And, oh, man, Aaron Fo Foster ran, ran right around my, my, my guys. Uh, run the ball on fourth down, four. That's, that's a little risky, but it paid off. And the very next play, he hits me with a touchdown. So... Uh, you know, we, we have a good battle. He, he's done a really good job getting him, himself back into the game. He just needs to get one stop, and he's he's really going to be back in it. Um, just scramble around, get the first down, move in the chains, go down, don't want to take a big hit with, and fumble the ball. So second 13, I lost three yards on the run. He, he has really good run defense, which is which is saying something in this year's game. So I tried to run around the DN, wasn't happening. So third and 19, Jory Nelson, Nelson couldn't get the dive and catch. Fourth and 19, I'm going for it. Uh, nothing's open. RB right there. If I could, if I could have mustered that in there, yeah, nothing was open actually. So really good defense once again on, on Cookie Boy's part. He got the huge stop that he needed. I did not want to punt the ball. Some of you say punt the ball, but I'm not going to punt on the ball because I don't want to have him have a chance to to waste the whole clock on me and get the two point conversion, and then send it to overtime. And he knows the toss since I'm the home team. Uh, so I went for it. Didn't pick it up. That's okay because it looks like I'm going to have a chance to score if he if he scores and goes for two and gets it. So he, he trucks two two guys, scores it. He needs his two-point conversion. The game is over, and I have a light blue over there. It didn't matter. Hit me in the flat for the two-point conversion to make it 28-28. So he was down 28-13 in the second half, and he made a heck of a comeback. So he's over here talking about the comeback of the century, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, we had a little friendly banter back and forth. So now I'm just trying to get a field goal range, and he played some coverage defense. I was able to scramble it out around with uh, Aaron Rodgers and now I'm just trying to get some extra yards to make sure I can get the field goal kick off uh, you know once again so now it's just third and five at the 31 I'm in field goal range just hit him up with one more run play hopefully get a couple more yards and it's not, and instead of just going down or out of bounds and then kicking with one second left he's like give me 11 seconds so I'm giving him 11 seconds hits me up the middle that was my user man uh, really good play in his part so now he's at the 39 yard line uh, but he needs a touchdown. He goes out with one second left. So with 11 seconds, can he really go down the field and score a touchdown on me? Uh, nothing's open. It looks like he's going to try to hit the post route. But luckily, Clay Matthews cleans that up, and I get the win. Really good game, Cookie Boy. If you haven't, you definitely need to subscribe to him. He has an awesome my player on 2K14. He's a great commentator. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you on the sticks.